afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel it is wednesday the 14th of september 2022 and tonight we're off back to the international stadium it is gateshead versus gateshead lean rangers in the preliminary round of the durham challenge cup So here I'm in Gateshead and unfortunately we now find ourselves back in the National League's bottom four uh, since the 4-1 win against Maidstone which was the last game on the channel uh, the uh, game away to Chesterfield was of course postponed following the death of the Queen then uh, last night uh, we were beaten 2-0 down at Halifax so uh, a bit of a frustrating time in the league at a minute but uh tonight it is cup duties and uh, it will be basically an entirely an, an almost in, an entirely under 19s team here but it'll be good to see some of the younger players in action tonight it'll be interesting to see if uh, the likes of eddie thomas and lewis leach uh, 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 in the squad i know they're out on loan at, uh, in the northern league at the minute uh, but uh yeah, as for Leem Rangers, they are currently third in the Wayside League and in the last match they won 14-0, albeit against never-ending crisis club Durham City, uh, but I imagine it'll be a good experience for their, for their players tonight. Uh, I think ultimately what this game might come down to, despite the fact it will be basically the youth team from us, is... Uh, just think you've got to remember these young players will still be training at quite a high intensity level and uh obviously Liam Rangers won't be used to playing on won't be used to playing on pitches of this scale and stuff like that so I think they're gonna be practice but at the same time uh gotta remember that uh there'll, there'll be a lot of that that the young lads will be playing against men so uh so is that's factor into cart necessarily rule out Liam Rangers also be interesting to see if uh, any first teamers that aren't really getting much game time in the league at the minute get a run out uh, but we'll soon find out anyway let's head to the international stadium and find out how it all unfolds <laughs> so teams warming up uh, gates are getting ready over here and uh, <laughs> looks like no players with see any senior experience at all tonight but uh all the best of those young lads out there uh <laughs> Lima Rangers are getting ready down here uh, they're going to be in I believe yellow and green this evening here come the teams I'm 
shirt, Jim Ford, first of all. We went to Shrewsbury from us, didn't we? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our time gets a nil gets at Liam Rangers nil. Uh, I think the two teams are pretty well matched out there, really. Uh, I'd say it is totally, uh, a, a to totally a youthful team. From us and obviously there's um, obviously Liam Rangers they're basically playing against men so uh, it's always going to be sort of tough for them in that respect but uh, both teams are having a go and you've got to respect them for that I mean uh, maybe at times the sort of final ball from both teams has been a little bit wayward but there's been chances either way I'd say the Liam Rangers have probably had the majority of them and they look a fairly decent team to be fair to them uh, so, it'll be an interesting second half. This game really could go either way. Oh! oh. Well done, he's 13. Remember Kids Grove where, they, where we were wearing the goat's head? Oh, I was. I was mortal drunk. Right, I mean, let's go home. Full time gets and they all gets at Liam Rangers 2. Uh, I think perspective's important tonight because uh, it literally was men against boys out there tonight. And you've also got to bear in mind that uh, the under 19 league season hasn't started yet, so basically those young lads have basically been thrown into the deep end really and uh, obviously having to play against men, which don't get me wrong, uh, can only be a good thing for their development, but uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not much of a fan of playing these games on the same midweek as, um, as, as, the league or, as, as league games or games in FA competitions, because uh, if you play these games when we've got a free midweek then it gives us the chance to maybe draft in a few first teamers that aren't getting that maybe aren't necessarily getting the game time and uh, yeah it, it obviously does good for them for their fitness etc and as well for the younger lads it does them absolute wonders to play to play alongside professionals so uh, so yeah, maybe the scheduling of this game wasn't the best though. Not that I'm using that as an excuse because every year we've got to feel we always play. Uh, we're always basically, you know, is always majority academy players in this competition. But fair play to Liam Ranger, I did think they were very good tonight and uh, yeah, deserved the win. Uh, had, the, had most of the chances in the first half and uh, had pretty much all of the chances in the second half and uh, did what they needed to do and uh, have come away with a deserved win but all the same it was good to be back at football tonight it's been a bit of a frustrating time for me uh, as I mentioned in that update video last week but hopefully now from here on in I uh, can finally get some uh, I can finally get some momentum going I think between now and the end of October I'm only missing one only missing one game, it's a game plus as well. You got all your other games as the neutral and things like that. So, uh, so, so yeah, uh, hopefully, the season can now properly get going from here. But anyway, that is that for this video, and I'll be back on Saturday. And it's back to league action for the Heat, and it's Gateshead versus Boreham Wood. So, until then, take care, and I'll see you later.